Tip, then when they dig up the spot and find nothing, you'll have a fresh dug hole in the plot of land and no one's going to check again. Then, you'll need to put some roadkill. Uh, hey, Graham, I have to call you back real quick. <coughs> I love you too. How long have you been watching, and what have you heard? It's a miss in court. Wait a second. Isn't that time of year already? Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Welcome! to the Nine Nights of Halloween Horror, brought to you by the Ringgold Haunted Depot. Now through Halloween, we are going to bring you Thomas Halloween classics on nine horrifying nights. And might I say, you have me shivering with sheer excitement, giving out little frights. I like the idea of you tangled up in your blankets, face stuffed with popcorn and pumpkin spiced fear. Speaking of which, the night's spine tingling tale is the house on Haunted Hill. A chilling tale talk to a Hold on a second. Jello. Hey, Slink. B, it's not the best time. Matter of fact, I'm in the middle of something, so could you, uh... Yeah, hey, listen. So, me and my coven got absolutely torched on Fireball and Frog's eye one night. I'm talking burned at the stake. Where, where is this going? So, we started venting about our exes, and one thing led to another, and... And... You should go get yourself tested. For curses. <sighs> Uh, what curse exactly? Oh, nothing. It's 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 fine. It's just you know it's it's, uh, it's not it's nothing. Okay, okay. So what, what is it then? <laughs> oh, it's just that when your beloved gives the lover's phrase, she will be dead in exactly nine days. My what? My, what are you saying? <sighs> your beloved, when she says I love you, she will be dead in nine days. You know, it probably won't even affect you. I mean, what girl is daft enough? I mean, you were. But so so as soon as a girl tells me she loves me, then. She's dead in nine days? What can I say? I am the jealous type. And how can I get rid of the curse? I don't remember. Anyway, thought you should know. Gotta go. Bye! Well, that's a heck of a way to start off the night. Uh, speaking of which, tonight's entertainment is full of things that go bump in the night. Don't worry, though. It's just some old pipe and squeeze floorboards. In the movie, I mean. I can't say what's going on outside your door. Where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The House on Haunted Hill, the opus by the man himself, William Castle, who's just one of those fellows who has his fingerprints everywhere in the horror community. Known for other classics such as 13 Ghosts and Rosemary's Baby, A House on Haunted Hill stars Kaylin Craig as our screen queen Nora, Alan Marshall as Dr. David Trent, Alicia Cook as the haunted homeowner, Carol Omart as the loving, not at all twisted wife to tonight's host, played by the icon himself, the dastardly dapper Vincent Price. So, hold on to someone. Tight. This is House on Haunted Hill. <laughs> now that is a scream queen. The House on Haunted Hill is truly a horror classic and the film that really kicked up the whole subgenre of haunted house movies, etching many of the tropes in, into the zeitgeist of American horror filmmaking. But there was a foundation laid before this movie by many of the classics that came before such as the 1940s Rebecca and the old Dark House, along with Victorian-era horror gothic novels, such as Turning of the Screw and other contemporaries and such. Excuse me just a moment. <clears throat> Jalo. Slinky, darling. Desdemona. Hey, everyone, it's Desdemona, my girlfriend. Slinky, who are you talking to? Oh, just some friends I have uh, over for a horror movie marathon. We're watching uh, House on Haunted Hill. Oh, what fun! That's one of my favorites. Hey, I have some great news for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in town in a couple of days, and I'm about to board the train now. Oh, that's great. You'll be able to meet some of my new friends. I can't wait, but more importantly, I can't wait to see you. Oh, I can't wait to see you either. How will it take you to get here? Well, I should be arriving at the Ringgold Depot in about three days. Well, be careful. I hear the place is haunted. Oh, you're always so good to me, Slinky. I love you. <laughs> Really wish you didn't say that. What? You don't love me too? No, 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 I, I do. Of course I love you. It's just, I meant call me Slinky. I, you know, I hate that nickname. 
Well, I think it's cute. Just like you. Oh, well, I have to go. The train is boarding. I'll see you in three days. I love you. Love you too. Uh, see you in three days. Oh, great. Now I have to figure that out. I need to think this over. Um, we'll be right back after a short break. But until then, go to the movie. Well, that concludes House on Haunted Hill. What do you think? Was the house really haunted, or was it all Nora's overactive imagination? Personally, I don't believe in ghosts. Well, anyway, you're going to really love Night 2 of Nine Nights of Halloween Horror. We're going to be watching... Oh, what now? Oh, what now? <clears throat> oh, Bubba, I heard that Beatrix cursed you. Um, I always knew that witch was no good for you. I asked Noreen, she said her sister said that a hairdresser told her that she had a similar curse once, but she never told her how to get it reversed. Well, anyway, while I was talking, she told me about Lizaretta. You remember Lizaretta? Yeah, you, of course you remember Lizaretta. She told her about that deli on Wigger Street, you know the one you used to go to. Yeah, the one with the bride red. Yeah, you know that one. It burned down. So, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, tomorrow's selection will be a bit of a step away from the ghostly and more into the real horror. Beat Nick Slam Poetry. Also murder. The Corman classic comedy horror, Bucket of Blood. Now, if you don't mind, I have to do some reading. I never would have imagined.